Welcome to Street Talk. I'm Loretta Rose. Today, we are on location at the set of Redeem, the movie that is being filmed here in Columbus. This is a total experience. For those of you that have never been in a movie scene or in the church scenes that Mr. Ty Manns and Bishop Mackey has put on here in the local area, you're gonna have a treat. They're going to allow us to give you just a little glimpse because you're gonna have to go to the movie to see it all. So we are excited to take you in and we're here at Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. We wanna thank Pastor Anaton and the congregation here for allowing us to come in and highlight what's happening here in this community. This is gonna be great. So buckle up, you're gonna be inspired and you are getting ready to go into another place here. You're gonna be redeemed. It's Street Talk with Loretta Rose here on CTV Bean. We have just caught up with Mr. Ty Manns, who is the man. <laughs> we are here and they are filming Redeem. Redeem. Wow, this is a movie production that is taking place here in Columbus. And this is the man behind the scene and Bishop Charles Mackey. Right. All right, Mr. Manns, because I know you don't have a whole lot of time. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. we are here at Friendship Missionary Baptist Church, right. which is here in Columbus, Georgia. Yeah. Tell us what's happening right now. Well, we're, right now we're filming our final scene of the movie. That's what we've been working on the last three hours. Uh, very emotional, so we have to you know, pay attention, make sure we're getting everything right so that we can deliver to the audience that last scene. So we'll, we have about another hour to go up there on that scene, then we're going to do some nice stuff outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you all have been filming here for about how many days? Well, we've been here just all day today. Okay. So we're, we're only here today, and then we move to uh, Marbella's tomorrow, okay. and then we're out in the residence on Monday, and that's it. We're done Monday. And you've been <laughs> filming here in Columbus for about two weeks? Yeah, we've been here in Columbus two weeks now filming, and we're, we're in the last three days. Wow. <laughs> and I want to ask this question because mm -hmm. I asked some people in the audience that were here, um, yeah. some extras, yeah, yeah. and one of the questions people want to know is, what is the inspiration behind Redeemed? Well, this is a movie about uh, a, a young judge who is elevated to the bench at a very young age. And um, when she gets there, she discovers there's some crime, some criminal acts going on. Mm -hmm. So she's left with a choice of either exposing that or sticking to her dreams and becoming a part of it. Wow. So, yeah. And who's the leading actor? So uh, Keisha Knight Pulliam mm -hmm. is the lead actress. T.C. Stallings is the lead Ooh, male. Lord so. have mercy. You already know what's about to happen. <laughs> Mr. Man. He's right upstairs. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, see, no wonder, I, no wonder I'm feeling those jitters. <laughs> this is what's happening here. And I'm telling Mr. Manns, I just want people to know um, that you you live right here in this community again. Yeah. For those that are have That's just right. tuned in that do not know Mr. Manns, he lived right within our community. Right over in Phoenix City, last 20 years. And he is sharing <laughs> this with the community here, and that shows a lot about yeah. your love for what you do. Now, this is the second movie you right. have been filming here in Columbus. That's right. Two movies in one year. How do you manage to do this? Well, you know, we I always tell people, don't pray for something and then act surprised when God give it to you. Mm -hmm. So this is what we pray for. This is what we prepare for to try to do between two and six movies a year. Uh, we started one in June, finished. Now we're in this one. And right now we have three on the books already for next year. So. Awesome. Whoa. It's just a blessing. <laughs> I, I'm speechless. But then again, you shouldn't be because just like you said, when you That's ask right. God. When you ask him for it, don't be surprised when he give it to you. And these gentlemen 
Mr. Manns and Bishop Mackey, they seek God in right. regard to everything you do. Everything we do. And it shows. Thank you. Thank you. You all are just flourishing. <laughs> well, God you. bless you. And thank you for allowing us all to be able time. to come in. And Anytime. I can't wait to go and see what's about yeah, to happen. Yeah, you have to come upstairs yes. and watch this last And when the church scenes takes place, really, it is not just acting. It is, they embody what they're doing. Uh, yeah, I mean, all I can say is you should have been upstairs wow. now. Wow, We were wow, having wow. church up Praise there. God. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations well, on well, all the again. success. So, thank you so much. You got to see it. When is you think it's coming out? Probably Redeem. this time next year. Okay. Yeah, it takes Redeem. about a year to get this type of a movie together. Okay. So we have to support it. It's going to the big screen. We're having Hollywood here in Columbus. You're watching it here on Street Talk. Again, we are here on the set of Redeem here in Columbus. Now we are talking with Bishop Charles Mackey. And sitting right here in your presence, I just, I, I'm just going to be real. I feel the flow of the anointing. Glory to God. Glory to God. I really do. It's here. It, it's and, here. and it is. And it's, it's up here. here in this, it's in this church, yes. too. Yes. This is the effect of the movies you yes. all put together. Yes. What place do you go in before releasing this? Mm -hmm. I, I know it's a deep place. It's, it's definitely prayer and fasting because from picking our cast and crew, we make sure God leaves us in a mighty way because this is his vision, these are his movies, and we make sure they honor God. And you know, here in Columbus, it's just been so wonderful, even with this church that we're utilizing right now, his presence is here. It is. And we're having church, we're having service, wow. we're making a movie, but. Wow. Everybody's touched, crying, and yes. just enjoying God. Yeah. Yeah, so it's I saw you over there in the church, and thank you all for allowing us to go in to capture, to even have an opportunity to embrace the essence of what was happening. Oh, yeah. I saw you over there working, and you guys are really, really anointed to do what you're doing. Bless you. It's more than just a movie that you're doing. I mean, you're right in the middle of your calling. Well, uh, what we always say is we're in the movie-making business. You know, God has given us this vision, and we're living up to the vision. I mean, we're making this one. We just finished My Brother's Keeper. Now we're doing Redeemed. And 2019, we probably about six or seven movies lined up. And uh, what's probably coming up is Mustard Seed. And uh, we're Ooh. excited about that. It's another, Mustard Seed. another wonderful story because you know, all of our movies have the faith-based element. We make sure we have the quality. But also we have different messages, like with... Uh, Question of Faith, which Ty Man, my wonderful business partner, wrote, uh, dealt with uh, texting and driving, and uh, been an organ donor, and also racism. Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, My Brother's Keeper, we dealt with PTSD. Mm -hmm. And uh, with this one, uh, we're dealing with the injustice in the court system, and God oh. is having his way. And there was a um, little insight on, on uh, mustard seed. We're dealing with um, bullying, teenage bullying, and uh, domestic abuse, which kind of go hand in hand, but the presence of God, and what I love about it, all of our movies, God wins. He wins, oh, and that's what it's all that. about, and I love that. he's glorified. Oh, my, and um, the audience that are in it, in the movie, what is happening here, they have walked into an experience. Yes, yes, yes. They're, they're experiencing God's presence. Like I said, we get prayed up, and mm -hmm. you know, and, and God just, has his way because he said if I be lifted up I'll draw all men into me and we're seeing that we're exactly seeing that. now redeem the you were saying about just talking about the court system you know the justice system um, Keisha oh, she's she's the leading role of this yes. right let everyone Keisha Knight pull them yes and not only is she playing the role, but she's become the role. Mm. Her character is called Angela, and she is playing Angela to a T, and you're going to really feel her going through the ups and downs and challenges with her faith, her career, and her faith. But, you know, that's... Oh, and you know what? So many, that's, a, that's, that's real deep. Right. So many don't know how to balance it. Exactly. Exactly. You know what? And that's what's happening with your movies. You are really helping people to... They can, it's relatable. 
it's relatable. And then sometimes people don't know how to to get through what they're going through. And you're really like, it's like a blueprint. This, your movies is helping people, giving them a guiding of what's happening and where they are and where they can be, where they are and what the outcome can be. Ooh, I couldn't have said it any better. That was, that was like right out of, I mean, that's what God showed us is that, as I said, um, God has really taken my ministry, which was traditionally church, into the movies and TV shows to really reach the people that would normally come to church, but they'll go see a movie. Who normally it. wouldn't go to church, but they'll watch television and they watch us on Netflix mm -hmm. and things like that. So that's where we're getting them with the quality, with the content, and the faith-based method. Yeah. Faith-based message that's really making a difference. Now, now, Bishop, I'm going to say this too, because I went in the sanctuary and we got a glimpse of what was happening, and you got T.C. Stallings in it. Oh, my Now, man. let me tell you, I, I'm human, <laughs> okay. okay? Keep it real. But he's Keep so real. handsome. Yeah. We, we <laughs> he get that all the time. He is nailing that oh, role oh, yeah. again. Yes. He's so handsome. We were like, oh, my God. We can't reach out and touch. <laughs> <laughs> we just keep it real. We get that response all the time. Good. And he's so humble. Yes, a humble anointed man of God that is very talented. We feel very uh, blessed to have him in our film again. And once again, they're not acting. Exactly. They have become the roles. They have really exactly. uh, caught the essence of what this movie is all about and bringing it forth so people can just really see mm. God's presence and wow. be entertained, but at the same time, just really get, to, get a chance to feel God's essence and presence. Yes. yes. And for those that still don't know, you should know by now because I'm going to keep putting it to your face. <laughs> Bishop and Ty, they are producers, directors, film writers, oh my, role models, men of God. Oh, you all are just, you all of it. And then you're sharing it. You sharing it, and you, we have some young, I have some one young with me, and she's 16 years old, but you all, right. all have inspired her so much. Oh, that's cool. And see, that's what it's all about, is to inspire others, because, you know, we really need to get out there and bring back good quality content, and to show it doesn't have to be business as usual, mm. and there's another path, a more wow. excellent way, wow. and then if others follow, then we've done our job. Wow. So. Well, Bishop, also, before we get ready to let you go, because I know, I mean, they are having a, a full fledge. I mean, it's just awesome film production that's taking place. Everything is so excellent. You um, in Atlanta? Uh, Alpharetta, yeah, Atlanta, mm -hmm. Alpharetta, Georgia, but I'm loving Columbus. Uh, my wife and I, we're looking at actually getting a place out in Columbus Ooh. as well, because yes. we're going to be, uh, like I said, it's been favor and love here yes. in Columbus. We're going to actually get a place out here and reside while we're filming Yes. the next six or seven movies so yes. man's Mackey wow. studio is gonna be real busy wow. but one of the things i love about it when you, you know how you see a, uh, a great movie and at the end you see the credits where it shows mm -hmm. you know fifteen thousand jobs were provided forty thousand jobs were provided that's our goal because you know along with making great movies providing jobs and resources to the city yes. I mean, especially such a wonderful city wow. it, it's a good God. thing you yeah. are such a blessing. blessing you know i'm wondering with all of this that you're doing What's next, Bishop? You're winning, you're winning souls through producing movies. Glory to God, glory to <laughs> We're just gonna continue what we're doing. We're gonna duplicate. We have a phenomenal team. We couldn't do it without our team. Uh, we had our wonderful uh, lead producer, uh, Joe Gonzalez, and our line producer, um, Brandon Riley. Without the core team, I mean, we just couldn't do it because I mean, it's a lot of work involved, yes. but we wanna duplicate our team. So, so instead of saying seven like next year, we can say 14 movies because we need to saturate mm -hmm. the area with good wow. quality faith-based wow. film. Wonderful. We appreciate you. God bless you God for bless all that you. you're doing. I know Redeem is going to win souls again, um, just like the uh, all the other ones that you all have done. Glory to God. Um, we're just so honored and blessed by God to have you right here in our midst because we know the path that God has um, for you guys is, is far greater than what we all can see, far greater than what you can see. Keep us up. Keep exactly, us up. <laughs> because you all are, are just really um, just flourishing to, to so many different levels. And it's because you've opened um, yourself to be used by God. And when we do that, there is no limit. That's right. There is no measure 
of how far and how high it can be right. and go. So I would love for you to just speak to your heart as we close out with um, this interview. Whatever the Lord lays on your heart, whatever you want the people to, to be able to get when they come to the movie, or just invite um, whatever the Lord lay on your heart, invite people to come, and just a word, just to people, um, you know, on the street, or, or maybe watching, because some may be watching this on YouTube, some may be okay. watching it locally on the television station, um, we want you to know, oh wow, see this is what happened when I come <laughs> with him, he always takes me there, let's go, let's he go. always takes me there, glory to God, we want you to know that what you have been ordained to be or can be, it is possible. Amen. It is possible. I have seen so many different things just by coming on your set. I have seen local business owners who have been granted opportunities of a lifetime. Yes. Yes. You all are utilizing um, makeup artists, hairstylists, right here in this local area. Absolutely. And they Absolutely. are so honored for the opportunity. And the Lord is just really just magnifying the gift within them. We see it. That's the response we're getting. I mean, like you said, all the local vendors and uh, from catering, and hair, makeup, and uh, talent from the Springer Center. I mean, yes. it's just it's a blessing. Columbus State University. Yes, yes. The students, they're all so grateful. Oh, they're and they're wonderful too. And they, yes. they really enjoy what they're doing. They, a lot of them thought they had to move other places to get these opportunities. And they were really giving us a testimony that they can stay here and it's been brought to them. So it's, it's God. It's but God. so to help people to know that are watching, that's the power of God. Yes. See, it don't come in the form that you think. Right. But when you have him in yeah. your life and you seek him mm. for his way and his will, baby, he'll bring it to <laughs> okay. you. Okay, okay. I'm going to let you close it out because I'm not the preacher. <laughs> well, you know what? You let God use you and everything that you were saying resonated with my spirit. And mm -hmm. as always, God used you in, mighty, in a mighty way. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes, sir. Absolutely. But I just want to continue to um, reiterate that God is a faithful God. I'm a living witness that every opportunity that we have today was all by him. It's not our might, but his might. It's not our will, but his will. And if you just let God continue to use you, use your mind, your body, your spirit, you'll see the victory that you believe that you have, that you know that you have, because God, he's, he is so faithful. He's an awesome God. And he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He is there. He's there for you, to touch you, to help you. But you've got to call on him. He said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. So that's all he's asking you to do, just acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. That's the God that we serve. Wow. You heard it from Bishop Charles Mackey. Thank you so much. Bless you. Be blessed. God bless, bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Here at Friendship Missionary Baptist Church, where Redeem the movie is being filmed here, I'm talking to some PAs behind the scene, and I met this gentleman. His name is Quincy. Yeah. Quincy, you're so kind. Thank you. Thank you for being so welcoming for, towards us and the hospitality. Yes. Let everyone know what exactly your role well, on the set, I'm a crafty PA, so I handle all snacks and um, refreshments, making sure the talent and background are, you know, well fed and um, yeah. hydrated. And he, we just learned what crafty is. Yeah. And um, so that's nice to know. Yeah. Because a lot of people that do not work in production don't understand. They don't yeah. know that. I literally just found it out like a week ago. I mean, not a week ago, but like in my semester of okay. college, yeah. So you're a student at Columbus yeah. State University? Yes, I'm part of the, G I'm a GFA um, sophomore. Okay. So that's Georgia Film Academy, oh. um, yeah. So they have that, mm, that's awesome. Yeah. And gotta give a shout out to Ty Manns, Bishop Mackey for having Columbus State University, a lot of Definitely. the students be a part of this. This is an awesome opportunity. Definitely, yes. Um, this is my first internship, so um, I'm glad I'm making a lot of connections, especially yeah. with Crafty. At first, I wasn't like, I wasn't, wow. I wasn't so happy to go to yeah. it, and then I was like, 
Well, this is an awesome way to make connections because I get time to feed people and then also, oh. you know, get to know them and yes, talk to them. Yes, yeah. yes. So what would you like to say to um, Mr. Mans and Bishop Mackey? Thank you so much for this opportunity because it really helped me. I like, I'm making a lot of connections. I want to do a lot of projects coming up soon. And this is like the perfect wow. time. Like wow. this is helping me out with a lot. And also remember me, okay? Ah. Y'all need help <laughs> or anything, I got you. <laughs> well, God bless you guys. And uh, and I think it's wonderful. It's mm -hmm. one thing being in the classroom, talking about exactly. it, seeing things on paper, seeing things on the screen, mm -hmm. but getting involved in it yeah. and getting right there in, in it, it is a whole nother thing. Yes. This is what learning on the job is all about. Exactly. God bless you guys. Mm -hmm. Redeem 2019, you got to go see it. I'm talking to another production assistant, Ebony. Hey, how are Hi. you? Hi, and she's so kind. Actually, she loved working behind the scene, but um, Bishop Mackey gave me permission that I could talk to them. So I was like, come on, girl. We want people to know who you are and what you're doing. Mm. So where are you from and are okay. you still a student? Okay, I'm from Thomasville, Georgia, but now I live in Columbus, and I have graduated from Columbus State this May, and now I'm here as a graduate GFA student. Awesome, and so tell me what type of production assistant you are, because I'm finding out there are different types of PAs. Keep there in mind, are. you know, we don't, those that are not in filming and that are, don't work behind the scene don't know, mm -hmm. so let us know. So I'm a set PA. I help everybody, like every department, I will help Crafty, I will help camera, I will help arts. Every department that needs help, I help them out. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. And I had an opportunity to talk to you, and you said that this experience has really been a blessing yes. to you. So what would you like to say to Bishop Mackey and Mr. Mann? Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for hiring me for this job. Like, I've been looking everywhere for a job, and you are the first person to hire me. Oh, look at that. But you know what, God, Right. He, he that's the way like, he does. Yes, it was like the right timing in the right place, and I thank you so much. Oh, wow. So I'm sure you're going to take something yeah, that's... Definitely. Uh, a way mm -hmm. that's very empowering mm -hmm. for Definitely, you Definitely, well. I will take a lot of things that I have learned here and learn from other people and also learn from you guys, mm -hmm. and I'll keep that. Oh, God bless you. Congratulations Thank you so to much. you. You're watching Street Talk. All right, I am talking to Vicki Adams, and momentarily um, the choir will be coming back in, so I want to get an opportunity to talk with her. You just left from up there in the sanctuary. Yes, I did. Tell me, what did you, what did you feel? Oh, what it, was, it, was, it was powerful. Mm. I mean, the song that's yes. attached to that movie, mm -hmm. oh, it will move you. Yes. Yes, oh it will. My, oh it, it will definitely people, move you. People, when you go to the movie, when you really see people and their response to what's happening, it's real. It's real. It's not no play thing. It is not playing. It is real this is what's happening the anointing is heavy in this place again again yes it is because i saw i had to wipe tears from my eyes now yes. you have a a role in what's happening too tell me about vicky and what how, what is your connection with this movie well my connection with the movie is normally i'll scan through Amazon and read certain books. So I stumbled upon this book called Serving Justice. And I read it, and I read it again and again. Mm -hmm. And it was something about the story mm -hmm. that was like, I need to get this out. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to the author. Wow. And I reached out to her one day. She responded the very next day. And when I reached out to her, she was like, oh, my gosh. She said, Vicki, this was on my vision board for 2018. I just felt cold chills. It was, it was like this, the silence on the phone because I guess we both were, like, amazed. Mm -hmm. And I found a screenwriter. We adapted that book. And here we are now, about wow. six months later, in wow. production. Wow, wow. Yes. That was God all the way all, around. All the, all way, the way around. around. All and the way around. And meeting Mr. Ty Mans and Bishop yes. Charles yes. Mackey. Yes. Now, that's a whole nother that's experience. That's a whole nother experience. 
I met um, Ty Mance and Bishop Mackey at the International Christian Festival in Orlando, Florida. And, you know, I've been to a lot of festivals before, but it was something about that festival, mm -hmm. Christian festival. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we saw each other. You know, we spoke and everything. After the festival, I just called Ty, and I was like, hey, and I had some questions. Yes. And he said, Vicki, do you have a script? And I said, yes. He said, can I read it? And I said, yes. And he called me back the very next day. And it was, it's been moving ever wow. since. Oh, y'all, this is just. I mean, it's, it's just God all, all, all around. around. Yes, and, and that's what people, if you've never had an experience with God, when you go to these yes. faith-based faith movies that were put on by Charles Mackey, Bishop Mackey, and Ty Mans, you're going to have an encounter. Yes. You really are. So let everyone know what Role. Did you play in the movie as well? I didn't play like a a major role, mm -hmm. but I'm in the movie. You're in the movie. I'm in the movie at one point of time, okay. so you'll recognize. So you'll recognize my face. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So what would you like to say um, to um, you know those that may be watching when they come to the movie? What what they gonna get? They're gonna get a move of God. If, if, if you're not spiritually connected, mm -hmm. when you leave this movie, wow. you're going to feel something. Ooh. I mean, Ooh. you're going to feel <laughs> something, believe me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow. Yes. And it's you're so gonna, relatable. Gonna, it, it's, it's relatable to mm -hmm. everyday life, things wow. that we see every day. Wow. It's yes. such a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. For you know, me. and those that are watching... When the movie comes out, get your church groups, yes. get your youth groups, get uh, a marriage ministry, yes. get every ministry, every group that you know of, girlfriends, boys night out, <laughs> go to the movie. Hey, this is, this is, let's make this, I'm telling you, let's make this be bigger than eyes have ever imagined it to be yes. because this is, life-changing and people need something different that is going to change their lives yes. and that's what's happening and I would say us go a step further Columbus is never going to be the same never 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 with all this coming yeah. it's never, never. going to be the same never it feels like a revival is already taking place in the city and when you leave <laughs> that that last scene oh you wanna wow. you're gonna wanna go home and have that revival. Wow. Yes, wow. yes. So thank you, thank you. I'm excited. <laughs> you are watching Street Talk. We are here at Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. And thank you, Dr. Anaton and the body of Christ that is here for allowing us to come in and highlight this good news that is taking yes. place right here in this community. And it's global. This is a global thing that is taking yes. place. Yes. You're watching it here on CTV Bean. I'm talking to Mariah Jackson. Just met her. She's an extra, but I thought she was Keisha Pullum's sister because she looks just like her. And come to find out, Mariah is an inspiring actress. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, and you're a student as well, right? Yes, ma'am. At Columbus State. Columbus State. Yes, ma'am. So I wanted to know how has this experience has been for you coming here? And because you just came out of the church scene, right? Yes, ma'am. I was in the church scene um, just looking at the people. Um, there was a sermon, and then there was the choir amazing choir by the way yeah, yeah. so I was sitting there thinking I'm like okay before whenever I would go to Atlanta for other extra jobs I would be ashamed to say I was from Columbus because no one would know like what Columbus Ohio no yeah. Columbus Georgia <laughs> where is that like two three hours away no it's just an hour down the road okay oh. but now I see that just because I'm from Columbus I can be an actress for real. Absolutely. Yes, I mean, I'm sh pretty sure seeing Bishop Mackey and Ty Mans, they're very humble men, but to see 
where they are, I mean, they had to start somewhere as well. Right. Yes, ma'am. And I'm actually a uh, stalked Thai man's for a second to get here because <laughs> I saw on um, a news site that he was doing Redeem. So I said, okay, all right, where do I start? Okay. So I found his uh, Facebook and I messaged him and that's how I'm here. Wow. <laughs> and they're the sweetest people. They are. They're they very really nice. are. So down to earth and just, just got like i mean <laughs> and to be able to share these opportunities with columbus because they can really bring whoever they want from somewhere else right but they are affording other people to be able to have this experience as well right so i wanted to let you speak from your heart to thank them because she is so grateful for this experience yeah. and i told her she got all the goods <laughs> yes, look at her. She's slaying it all the way. She has all the goods. And um, never underestimate the power that is within you. Oh, thank you. And thank you, Titan Mans and Mackie Productions. <laughs> so you see what the stocking paid off, huh? Yes. <laughs> In a, good way, in a good way. In a good way. God bless you, sweetie. Thank oh, you. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> and now I'm talking to Jacqueline D. Moore. And she's an author, a writer from Detroit, Michigan, but resides in Las Vegas. Yes. Well, all of this here in Columbus. I love it. Welcome to Columbus, Georgia. Thank you. I'm so very happy to be here, and I'm excited to be here because of everything that's going on right now. Exactly. You have a connection also to what's happening here. I do. I do. I um wrote a book called Serving Justice, which is what the movie Redeem will be based on. Mm. They, um, executive producer Vicki Adams read my book and reached out to me and asked me if I would love to, to, to make a movie. Uh, wow. She made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Now see, we had an opportunity to sit down with Vicki mm -hmm. and see, you all are bringing all the pieces to the puzzle together. So you mm -hmm. are the author, the one behind the, you know, that wrote the book that created the story wow. that you know the movie's going to be based on and what i try to do is stay connected to current events mm -hmm. that people can relate to mm -hmm. and not only entertain but try to educate in the process i minister to you without you realizing you're being ministered to mm -hmm. because sometimes people don't necessarily aren't really necessarily willing to accept the word of God mm -hmm. because they feel like it's a foreign language to yes, them. Yes. But then if you can present a situation that they can relate to, mm -hmm. they can see themselves and how they, the connection to God is. Wow. And now when you wrote the book, was it that you just felt the need of writing something based on that? Or it was um, something, you know, well, very defining that probably happen that to make you go into that place of writing. Well, that. I like to talk to people and I like to, I, I talk to people, I observe people. Mm -hmm. And as a writer, you can get an idea from just about mm -hmm. anything. And that story came about because of a statement someone made. Ooh. And uh, it was a gentleman who had gone through some things and he said, you know, sometimes people don't accept me for who I am based on how I look or, or based on assumptions they've made about me and they don't know anything about me. And when you think about that, that's true about all of us. That sure is. We evaluate people based on our own experiences mm -hmm. without knowing anything about them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes we have to create a piece or create a story that makes you look at not only the situation, mm -hmm. but to hold up a mirror and look at yourself. Wow, that is awesome. You are ab absolutely correct. You know, I'm getting choked up. <laughs> I really am because, whew, that is so real. It is. What you just said. It is. And, you know, we do it, and I don't think we realize that we do it. You know, it's kind of like in the story, Angie, Angela, the judge, realizes that, you know, she got into law for one reason, but the circumstances and situation and accolades kind of changes her path a little bit. And then, you know, it's like the prodigal son. The prodigal son did not start out in the middle of sin. It took one little step at a time. And before he realized it, he was in the midst of it all. And that's how our lives are. Wow. I, I'm, I'm sure it's such a humbling experience to know that the writing that you put into that book from the heart, it is now getting ready to hit 
the big screen. Oh, wow. I mean, I am so full and overwhelmed. I mean, words can't even begin to express what it does to me. And, you know, as, as, as I stated, when God has something for you, no matter how long it may take, he makes it known that it's him. Yes. And, you know, just to, to, to know that he's favored you to do something to convey his word, you know, it's, it fills me up. It makes me want to cry. Yes. I feel you. I feel you, Jacqueline. <laughs> oh, wow. This is so good. Well, I want to thank you for sharing um, your, your heart, your vision. And I know I want you to speak to someone that is watching because it's been many years that you've been writing. Mm -hmm. And God is amazing how his timing is. And I think that's what it is. People want it to be done right on now. their time. Right table. now. You know, we, we live in such a right now world that we want everything to be done right now. And oftentimes we don't understand that God is sending us down a certain path because he wants us to learn things mm -hmm. in order to do his will and his work. Yes. I didn't even start writing until I was 43 years old. Okay. And this was the first novel that I wrote 10 years ago. And to know that it had, is still touching in people and reaching people is truly humbling. And to know that God chose me, yes. Yes. <laughs> chose me and my story to bless other people. You know, words just can't express I how I overwhelmed I am. I well, that's how our God, that's how he is. It is. You know, when you go and watch this movie, you're going to be redeemed. <laughs> Whoa, I am getting, we've gotten so much here on the, the back side of things, coming in in the parking lot. I mean, it's, it's just, it's a timely, divine timing. Oh, absolutely. Thing that is happening here. Absolutely. And we appreciate you and thank you for sharing it. And it's thank making you. a difference. Thank you. And I can't wait to see the greater, greater things that is about to come forth. Oh, amen. Oh, my God. Oh, All the you. way from Las Vegas. Thank, thank you. you. Thank You're you. watching Street Talk. We're here on the set of Redeem. Thank you so much for tuning in to Street Talk with the Redeem production that is taking place here in Columbus. I want to thank film writer, producer, directors, role models, Men of God, fathers, husbands, Mr. Ty Manns, and Bishop Charles Mackey. Thank you so much for allowing us to come in and capture this. You have given us so many great insights on what has been going on behind the scene with these various movies that you all have been having here. The cast members, some of the people that we have met, the authors, it has been a total, total, total blessing to have an opportunity to sit down and talk with them. Not only myself has been blessed, but I know the viewers have been blessed as well. If you have never, and again, I'll say it again, have ever had an encounter with God, when you watch these movies that Bishop Mackey and Ty Manns are putting together, you are going to have an experience of a lifetime. It is such a blessing to know that this is taking place right here in the south of Columbus, Georgia. And this is taking, going all the way to Hollywood. And it came right here. So thank you all for allowing us to showcase this for the community to see. And not only that, to give people hope and inspiration of where they are and where they can be. It has been wonderful. We want to say Merry Christmas to you, wishing you a prosperous new year. It has been wonderful. 2019 is amazing. So go see the movies. Redeem. It is coming to a city close to you. You've been watching it here on Street Talk. I'm Loretta Rose. God bless you.